Sorry, guys. Welcome back to Turner Warped, yeah. episode Put number... Again. <laughs> yes, I, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Welcome back, everybody, to Turner Warped, episode number 22. Uh, there will be strong language on this program. If that's not for you, that's fine. Uh, but we're still going to do it. So just be aware. Um, we're coming back, and Glix has uh, entered the airlock. The doors on the outer part of the ship begin to open. And in, in front of you, Glix, you can see basically a long uh, telescoping um, cylindrical tube that connects uh, in sort of an awkward way to the, um, to the airlock, but they managed to, to fashion uh, you know, a, a connection of some kind. Um, yeah, and, and you can see like there's, it's sort of like these, these railings. And you can, as the door opens, you know, um, there's probably like a weird feeling so that you can sort of get like a um i would say you can sort of figure out like there's no gravity in the in the uh -huh. tube area sure yeah Ooh. Hmm. but there's Hello? nobody there's nobody in there it's just it's just empty is any hello hmm. guys uh, there's a tube leading to the ship, and there's no one approaching. Hawk? Oh, okay, Glix. You need to approach the other door carefully. Okay. And remember, you want them to come back here to get the supplies. Okay. You can't okay. carry it all on your own because you're small. Okay. I'm going... I'm going. I start, um peeking around as much as I can to, to give me sort of any visual advantage and I'm just listening and my feet are uh, pretty silent here so your feet I'm are being... definitely silent because as you as you go into the tube uh, you're now in zero gravity um, as soon Whoa. as you leave the comforts of the ship uh, the tube uh, is basically zero gravity so that's why the railings are there um, to sort of like to grab to something yeah. Yeah, and pull yourself to the other side Boop. guys there's actually not any gravity in this tube, I'm kind of pulling myself along here. Hawk, what should I do? That's expected. Okay. Approach carefully. Good luck. Okay. All right, so I pull myself along the tube. Okey -doke. And as I reach the end of the tube, do I see their airlock? Yeah, you could see like um, you can see like a um, uh, an airlock kind of door on the other side. Yeah, absolutely. It's, oh, and it is not open. Yeah, to me, and, and and just so you're aware, the um, the way that this looks, it's it's probably sort of a, a light gray or whitish, uh, maybe like an off white kind of color to this ship, um, and uh, the airlock door is is closed um, as you get closer. Boop. Uh, guys, they haven't opened their airlock. Yes, it's perhaps expected also. If there's a comms button on the external airlock, try that. Sure, I'll look for one. Okay, um, they definitely have some kind of like rudimentary sort of comm uh, situation on the outside. Um, you hit the button um, and you hear like a little like, uh, like a chirping kind of sound. Um, then, Hello? then you hear a uh, you hear a voice. Uh, y yeah. Uh, hang on one minute. Uh, we're uh we're we're just experiencing some technical difficulties with our uh airlock door here. Uh, just give us one minute. Boop. Sounds good. Okay, just science officer Glicks from the Black Fang here. Just have some supplies. And I boop. Private comms. Uh, guys, they said they're having uh, technical di difficulties and they're they're going to open the door, so I think we're definitely in for something here. Okay, clicks. Come back to our airlock immediately. Okay. And I start making my way, pulling the ropes. Okay. Uh, so you start uh, grabbing the railings. Um, as you do, behind you, the doors begin to open. Um... Um, and behind you, uh, you can see a sort of probably middle-aged looking, uh, guy in a long, like, Kevlar coat. Um, he's got a, um, he's got a sort of roguish kind of demeanor about him. Um, he's pretty tall, 
probably like 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 something like that. Um, and uh, he is, has a bit of a, a bit of a beer belly kind of scenario going on. Um, and he's got sort of like salt and pepper, long hair, um, probably like maybe like down to his shoulders, uh, just kind of uh, roguish looking. You know, it's just kind of a bit messy, a bit scruffy looking. And uh, he says, uh, hello? Oh, there you are. Hey, uh, science officer Glicks here. I'm just uh, pulling my way back to our supplies over here. Oh. Well, you're welcome aboard. Uh, well, uh, uh, what what, what exactly do you, do you have over there, darling? Uh, before you, before you head out. Oh, um, you know, medical supplies, and I kind of all kinds. Uh, uh, medical supplies, uh, like like what? We heard something about... Like, uh, um, you know, we have some anti-rads and narcotics. We have some um, pain medication and narcotics. And we have some... Uh, we even have um, 700 liters of Metagel and narcotics. Uh, you got that all on your ship? We do. Uh, that That's... That's... Uh, that's... Uh, uh, that's Are you okay? It's, it's good. It's good, definitely good. Come on over. Um, uh, I'm sorry, darling. I can't do that. And um, as he sort of uh, he sort of like hangs his head for a second, and to the left and the right, you see uh, people in um, in viro suits start to rush into the uh, tube with you. Um, they have with them what looks to be some, uh, looks to be like some rifles. Um, and, uh, yeah, they, they head on into the tube and they go, all right, don't move. And they, um, they point how far along the tube did I, did I make it? I would assume, I mean, you were talking to them, so you probably, like, stopped midway through and turned around. Uh, they, uh, okay. they're, yeah, they, they're In probably... In my mind, I was going to talk to him from the other side because I was afraid. Hawk told me to get back. Yeah, the, the, the door started, like, opening up, like, when you were, when you turned sure. around. So you probably weren't too far in. Okay. The tube itself is probably about, like, 15 feet long, maybe something like that. Okay. Okay, so yeah, they're they're just inside uh, on their on their end, and uh, um, yeah, you can so... see there's there's two of them, uh, and they're inside the tube. Uh, their Enviro suits look actually pretty new looking. Um, they're uh, like all white, and they have um, sort of you know like a big dome shape to them um, up above, and you can see that they're actually. Uh, you know, this, this extending tube doesn't has, have, like, a floor, per se. It just kind of has, like, the railings um, and a, um, I don't know what, what kind of material it would be, but, you know, like a heavy-duty kind of material that telescopes sure. to extend to yeah. another airlock. Um, so they say, like, freeze, and I'm pulling myself as fast as I can over to the other Okay, ship. so you keep going. All right. Um, all right. So... If you start to move, uh, they are going to fire a shot at you. And let's see. Pew, pew, pew. Firing a shot in a goddamn space station. Spaceship. Yeah, totally. Yeah, they're wearing Enviro suits. They don't give a fuck. Oh! Enviro uh, suits are a good idea, are uh, uh, they? Yeah. Oh, this like is there. good information for me to have that I previously didn't think of. <laughs> 19. 13. Okay. Uh, and let's see. Two. Hits you for six damage. Oh, uh, my with, soak is five. 
So I take a damage? You take one damage. The other guy's going to fire at you, and they're yelling, Hold it right there! <clears throat> <laughs> Sounds like a good idea to hold it. Uh, that one's good enough. 12, uh, 15, 17, 24. It gets and... to 13, so it hits, and then... Yep. And then, uh, let's see. Eight damage. Oh, where's my health? Where are you, health? Yeah, so you it probably get... Okay, so the soak doesn't off. count again, does it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay, so it counts again. Okay, so I take another three. Okay. Yeah, so you take a shot, like, probably, like, uh, in the side and maybe, like, one in the leg. Um, yeah. And, oh. uh, do you stop? I think that would stop me. Yeah. Well, the thing is, she's 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 in zero G, right? So if she gets shot, she'll just keep drifting. Oh, let, let go, yeah. Inertia! Inertia! Physics. Yeah, the shots would push me. I mean, basically... Well, you could hold on to the railing. Yeah, I mean, move. you can hold on to <laughs> the railing. Do you think if I got shot, though, would you... I... How bad or am I hurt? Or would you be balled up and just drifting going, ah! Right. You I mean, tell you me. It, yeah. You tell me. What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm tiny and I've just taken a, you know, a quarter of my uh, my health and damage or a third of my health and damage. So I'm probably uh, probably not able to hang on to the railing anymore and I'm probably drifting toward the uh, the ship. Okay. So the way that these airlocks work... Um, is the outer door is going to stay closed, uh, you know, w- it, uh, so the inner door, I should say, the inner door is going to be closed if the outer door is open. Right. That's the way that this works. Yep. So uh, it, it, you're sort of drifting slowly towards the ship. Um, if they see you keep moving, um, th- these guys are going to rush in, try and grab you uh, for sure. Um, what do you so- do? I say, all right, all right, I've stopped, I've stopped. All right, grab her. And uh, one of the, the the guy on the left, uh, like, comes up to you and grabs you sort of, like, roughly by the arm, uh, just starts, like, uh, hauling you back towards the other ship. Got her. All right, bring her in. And you can... Um, they start to uh, bring you over to their side. What are the rest of you doing? You're hurting my arm. Do you arm. know this is even happening? Um, I you definitely have like a camera set up. I mean, uh, the way that you guys are positioned, though, I don't think anybody's really watching it. <laughs> yeah. Lux is just it's, sort of waiting to go. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. How long like, do you think this will take? Boop, they've got me. Right, okay. So you, uh, you tap your comms? I tap my comms. Oh, shit. The guy just fucking... He takes the butt of his gun. Bat! Right on your face. Yeah. So I, uh, I um, comms... I comms back. Octoglix. Understood. Thank them for their hospitality. When they're ready, they may come over and take the narcotics. I mean, medicine. Um, okay, so I would like uh, you, um, Glicks, to please make me an endurance check. Okay. Three, two, six. Okay, 12. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, you get smacked across the face. Basically, like, blood, like, shoots out from your face. Mm. And let's see, what's this gonna be? This is this two, so six more damage. Oh. Um, minus your soak. Um, and um, yeah, uh, they just kind of like roughly toss you onto the ship, and as you sort of make this like very weird transition onto the ship, uh, onto the Merry Hind, you sort of start to feel the gravity, and it feels like real weird for a second, like your stomach kind of lurches, and you just kind of and just land hard on the ground uh, as you get tossed inside past uh, past the the captain, uh, and he just he kind of like bends down. I barfed up some gummies. <laughs> he like bends down and like tries to like uh, sort of like help help you up. Uh, as he does, the guy, one of the guys with the gun, says. Get the fuck back! 
and uh, he just kind of motions with his gun, and the captain just kind of puts his hands up and takes a step back away from you. Oh, what do you want? We want your supplies. We want your ship. He said, and he says as he like reaches over and he takes your comms and just like rips it off your, um, like rips it off. Hey! Uh, yeah. I think he'd get an electric shock because it's <laughs> not very well made. <laughs> Um, okay, uh... God, I don't even fucking know what to roll for that. It's the yeah. junkie um, comms. It's the dumbest yeah, fucking thing ever. Totally uh, you have to, to operate it. You gotta, like, twist your fingers around. He's not trying to operate yeah. it, he's just grabbing it off of her Yeah, you gotta hold it in a specific way to comms people, otherwise it shocks you. <laughs> Bare wires and shit. Okay, so I rolled a fifteen anyway. Uh, so uh, I just rolled an agility check here. Um, oh, I don't think it's gonna like damage him. I'm just he's gonna get a bit of a shock, okay. right? <laughs> um, you shot me! Ah! He takes a com and he stomps on it. He's like, "What the fuck is this shit? Please tell me your ship is in better condition than this piece of junk." It's in horrible shape. Yeah, you're probably, like, tonguing your teeth, and you notice, like, one of them's, like, loose. Ugh. He says, I think you broke my tooth. He says, I don't give a shit about your tooth. He says, where are the supplies on your ship? They're right in the entryway. We had them near the airlock. He says, how many? I don't know. No, dummy. How much? How many crew you got on your ship? I'm bleeding out of my face. I can't count right now. Uh, roll me a charisma plus your. Do you have deception? Uh, or let's bluffing? See. Uh, no, no. Okay, Only yeah, it's just, just charisma on this one. No negotiating, huh? Okay. Two different luck things. Luck die are recharged, though. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll toss a luck die in after this. Okay, so 3d6 nets you a 9 and a 1 on the luck die. Not so lucky today. Um, okay, so 10. Um, so he says... Uh, he, he motions towards one of them, uh, towards the other guy, and he says... Uh, he says... Um, he said, check her. Uh, and he, the other dude, like, walks up to you. And uh, he starts, like... Don't touch me! You start, like, probably backing up, like, a little bit, like, into into uh, the bulkhead. And uh, he's just he's just roughly checking you. Like, he's not he's not Stop. caring at all for your personal space. What are you... Get your hands off me! Yeah, he's checking for weapons and stuff. Do you have any weapons on you? Yeah, my phaser pistol. Yeah, he, he grabs your phaser pistol, um, and... Uh, hey! Give that back! She's wearing something underneath this fucking thing! What are you talking about? Give me my pistol! Yeah, he just, like, rips your onesie. Uh, Ooh. yeah, these guys... He's not being gentle. He's, like, he's he's a fucking asshole. Like, he's, he's not being gentle with you at all. Um, he's just kind of tossing you around roughly like a thug. And he, yeah, he just t half tears your onesie, and he says, She's got... She's got a fucking Kevlar vest under here. What do you think I'm stupid? Um, and he says, uh, "All right, how many you fucking got over there? You tell me right now, girl." There are two more. Um. Okay, so let's see with the ten. Uh, he says, "Bullshit." There are two more. I just told you. Uh, he's going. They'll just give you the. They'll just give you the narcotics. Um, so he he he's gonna take the butt of his gun and smack you again. Oh. Yeah, he's not. They're not. These are not nice guys. While um, this is going on, Hawk, your data sleep starts beeping and vibrating. Okay, what's my uh, damage for the? 
Uh-huh. And as you pull it up, um, it's a really shoddily made in Microsoft Space Paint. It just says, "Worst Tactical Officer Awarded to." <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I like power off my pad. So yeah, <laughs> I just lean against the box laughing. Um, I got another eight. Okay, another eight of damage. Damage, or... yeah. Okay, so one, two. Yeah, three. he's basically got you grabbed. It's gonna be like a free hit. Oops. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, in while all this is going on, and once I hear that uh, Glix has been kind of held and captured, I'm gonna program into the little computer into the door pad to hold the door open, and I'm gonna lie down back prone, and I'm gonna turn on my invisibility cloak and cover myself and my my gun, but I'm gonna keep the door open, and I'm just gonna lay prone. Okay, so you would probably be able to cover about half of your gun. Uh, you're definitely not gonna be able to cover yourself plus the gun. Uh, I was going to, like, literally lie prone directly next to it. Not, like, actually try and lie down with it. Literally, oh, you're not taking a sniper. It. You're not taking I'm, no, a sniper. No, I'm, I'm just staying, I'm staying hidden. I just oh, want to okay. lay down prone. Okay, on, yeah, you could yeah, do that. Ground, fully hidden. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Sure, sure. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So he smacks you with the buttstock again, um, and he says, uh, How many? I told you... How many there were? You don't believe me. There are two more. So you, he grits his teeth um, to the point where you can hear it. And he says, That ship is too fucking big for three fucking people. We lost members, okay? Give me a charisma check again, please. Come on. I'll throw another uh, luck die on this one as well. I only have one more luck die. Uh, be exploding. Seven and a two. Uh. Nine. I mean, does the fact that it's a tiny little lady getting beat up by a big rough, like, pirate, like, does that help her at all? Like, he, surely he <laughs> would assume he has the upper hand in this year and she onesie. wouldn't lie to him out of fear. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking onesie, like, Four foot tall. Oh yeah, what about my wearing little my coughing? Your consistent coughing uh, elicits oh, yeah. sympathy from onlookers who are hesitant to attack an obviously ill person, and even if they do underestimate you, you gain plus four defense bonus against anyone you have not yet attacked. I forgot okay. about. Yeah, those are important things to, to keep yeah, track of. It's, it's and those been a while are since definitely I used it. <laughs> those are definitely everybody's responsibility on their own to manage. Um, so I don't think it mattered in either case. Uh, they still hit you, I think, because your defense was a 13, right? Yeah. Yeah. For the 18, it would have mattered, right? No, it would have been a 17. Okay. Uh, I didn't roll an 18. I think I got a, I think I got a 19 and a, uh, 24. Gotcha. Um, so, uh, let's see. Plus, she has like shoddy comms, so it makes sense that maybe the ship was under crude or something like that. Like, it looks kind of ramshackle. So, you got a nine? Oh, yeah. Uh, he looks at you and he says, I'm getting tired of your shit, girl. Do you understand me? I want to know how many fucking people are over there, and I'm tired of your bullshit. If I hear one more lie out your mouth, I swear, I'm going to throw you back out in that tube and disconnect the fucking airlock. I have ideas, but <laughs> I'm not you. <laughs> yeah, let me think for a sec here. Fight the meta. I know, it's so hard. Um. Make a decision. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, like, I said there were two. I feel like he can't know, so I'm just I'm sticking to it. I told you there are two others. Just go get the narcotics. We were just going to give them to you anyway. We've suffered heavy losses. He says, you do this to yourself. You do this to yourself. And he grabs you by the hair, and your wig just comes off. <laughs> 
Fitz is, what the fuck? Um, while that happens... Your the, whole life is lies! <laughs> while that happens, uh, Captain Edward uh, charges the guy that just grabbed your wig, and he just goes for the fucking tackle. Let's see. Oh, this man is going to die to save you. My man. He's going to be my man. Hands off. I mean, if he dies to save her, we get a three class three ship, so that's fine. Four, <laughs> 17. Playing the keepers. Let's see, 17. Does that beat this guy's shit? Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, so he goes to charge this guy, and um, the other um, the other dude uh, gets, gets uh, like, gives him a heads up, like, like uh, he's, he's like, um, He's like, Stank, get out of the way! And uh, he said, what? Oh, shit! And the guy comes, like, charging in. Uh, and he basically does, like, a, uh, a matador kind of move where he just kind of turns to the side. The The captain just kind of, like, reaches out to try and, and uh, tackle him. And uh, it, 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 he just misses. Um, he moves out of the side, and you, you can hear this wet, like, and this blood, Whoa. this blood stain just squirts out all over the, all over the, uh, the ground. Stupid fucking asshole! He says, "Now we gotta fucking get through the goddamn ah shit." See what you made me do? And he kicks the fucking dead body. And he says, "All right, all right, all right. Throw her into the fucking airlock." He's like. And we're gonna blast their motherfucking ship. We'll see how many pieces of shit are on there. He says, "You sure, man? We want to grab that. Just shut the fuck up." Uh, I'm gonna. Can my personal comms reach the ship comms on the other side? Uh, no. But the you can active. You can you can check the the ship comms. Yeah, I'll just think there's probably like a panel on ours outside that I, like just outside our airlock. I'm assuming it's something like. Oops. Just outside our airlock, like that little part there. Uh, um, yeah, okay. So I'll go over and press that. Um, Black Fang to the Merry Hind. Do you require assistance in gathering the fuel cells for a transport? Our three crew here are getting a little impatient to get home. Um. So, yeah, there's no response. Mm. It appears your comms are having issues. I'll send over our engineer. And I, uh, I look over to Arthur. And I'm doing this face. I just point to the airlock. <sighs> Lunk, go to Lunk board. Wait here, Lunk. Arthur, make sure, you, make, make, yeah. sure, <laughs> make sure you tell them that Long the android perfect. that the android they're talking to is a ship integrated android. That way they won't know that I can And I just gonna like tap my axe and I tap Buster. You know. Talk to them. They've just taken Glick's hostage. Lunk tink, lunk cluster, lunk cluster kappa, clusterobotobic. Lunk no lunk will this. I open Lunk's door for a little bit. Stay calm, Lunk. Well, we don't know that yet. They might just be taking her on a tour. I give you the the stupidest are uh, you fucking mental look. <laughs> We know there's probably pirates, but we have to make them feel like they're in control. That's how we can stay in control. They've got a bloody only medical officer! Of course they're in bloody control, you fucking- I just, I just like tap the airlock and like throw you in and then tap it closed <laughs> on our site. Look, the second we get them over here, I'm gonna start- Fucking robot! So I don't know what your plan is, Hawk, but the second I see him, I'm killing. That sounds like a good plan to me. Um, so, so I send you into the airlock, so when I close it our side, the inside one should open, so you should be able to see right down the card up to their side. So, uh, you did a lot of things there with expectations that were inaccurate. Um, <laughs> first and foremost... Basically, no, you yeah. cannot do that. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, so again, the uh, the 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 doors take some time to to change the pressure and everything. It's not an instantaneous kind of thing, for sure. At this at the airlocks. Um, so if you want to open the outside door, or if you want to open the inner door, the outside door's got to close. That's the way that the airlock works. Now, yeah. um. So if you if you're trying to put Arthur in there, you hit the button and then you're going to see like the outer airlock door, the one that's normally out to space is going to close first. And that's going to take mm -hmm. like a, few, a few seconds to change the pressure and everything. Okay. And then the inner door is going to open. Arthur can and go I in. Him in. Yeah. Um, okay, and it's I... expect the precision equilibrium is not going to take that long considering we're kind of ship to ship and or there should be like a, you know, it's like the last than doing it into. It's a it might take a minute or so, or so, something like that. Yeah. Um, and uh, so yeah, you, you start to do that process. You hit the button, yeah. and, uh, or getting Arthur just kind of set up to yeah. get shoved. I'm just in. arguing with him. I I comes again. Our engineer is on the way. On the way? On the bloody pirates. 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 <laughs> yeah, as they, like, the door starts closing, I have this dawning realization that Arthur's really, really bad at uh... so word, everything that isn't making a ship go. Like playing it <laughs> cool. Um, mm, we may have to take a different approach because I realized that. Arthur's probably going to blow her cover, so tactically, the best bet is then to <sighs> probably make a rush for it. Am I am I in the airlock now? Um, you're yeah, you're in the airlock on your ship. Yeah. Um. So Glix, uh, they start to lead you out onto the tube. Hey, get off of me! Just go take the drugs. Shut the fuck up. Um, yeah, and you're they, 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 like thrown your wig someplace, um, you know, and and uh, you're just kind of bleeding like in various places. Um, your onesie's like half torn, and um, uh, your 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 blaster pistol's been taken, and uh, they start to lead you out into the hallway. As they do. They can see like the lights changing on the um, on the airlock door on the other side, um, and they say, "Oh shit!" And uh, while this is happening, uh, the outer airlock door opens up, uh, Arthur, and you're you're inside the airlock right now. You see two guys holding Glicks, and, and she looks in bad state. Yeah, she looks fucked up. One of them's got like one of you know they're sort of like looped underneath her arms. Like one's got one arm, the other one's got the other, um, and they've got rifles in their hands. And they just are we say, in zero G now? They are. You're not. You haven't walked onto the tube yet. What do um, you do? Hello. Someone need an engineer. Um. And so they say, "All right, motherfucker." Get your ass over here now! Right? What the fuck's going on? As I start walking towards them. Okay. Yeah, you, you take a step onto like into the tube area and your the zero G starts to take over. Um, which is a pretty easy transition for you. Um, you just you, you're used to zero G. Um, I balletically just sort of trans transfer from gravity to zero G, like like a bearded fairy. It's ah, semi, semi bearded peach fuzz, really. Are you really bringing this up now? <laughs> yeah. Maybe we don't need a medical officer. <laughs> <laughs> a semi bearded fairy just. Um, As if out of the cocoon of gravity, I, I explode you know the, into my natural. You know the habitat. Tenacious D song? You know the Tenacious D song? Did you guys ever see the animation for Fuck Her Gently? <laughs> yeah. When Jack... Yes, I love that song. <laughs> I'm picturing that sort of movement, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> uh, um, 
Sometimes you don't have to work her hard. Da, da, da. Um, so you um, you head on into the uh, to the tube, and um, you can see that uh, yeah, Glix is fucked up. Um, they're both pointing rifles at you, and um, uh, you can see that uh, they're just sort of like roughly holding her. Um, in, in the transfer tubes, they got the rifles pointed at you. How, you're floating on in, and you can see, like, uh, one of them starts to let go of Glicks, uh, probably on your left side, Glicks. Um, okay. and, uh, with his rifle, he starts to, like, you know, use both hands to sort of, like, aim the rifle at you. Sort of floating, you know, he's kind of floating, just kind of, like, nudging into the railing, like, kind of bouncing a little bit into the railing as you start so to float by. As I'm floating through, as elegant as a semi-bearded fairy, um, the guy that's got his rifle pointed at Glix, I want to aim myself towards him. Just floating. Okay. Yeah, you're just and, kind of floating. Uh, it, it, I mean, is he, is he just waiting for me to get there or what? Yeah, they're waiting for you to get a little bit closer. Uh, the guy on the left... Uh, once you start getting closer, like probably within you know a few feet or so of him, he uh, he's gonna sort of push off the side and just try to Wait, like. He's the one grabbing Glicks, isn't he? Negative. The guy. He's the on one the pointing other side. the rifle at Glicks. No, negative. You have misunderstood. There is a person holding Glicks with a rifle, and then there is another person on left side that has let go of Glicks with their rifle that has been aiming at you as All you've been right, floating well, you through. So, okay. uh, as you start to float closer, he's going to push off of the tube and just kind of angle himself towards you. Okay, so as it does that and we get closer and closer, I'm going to use my superb zero-gravity skills, and I'm just going to meet his nose with my head, my bony, sharp, painful head, as these two objects close the gap. In my head, all I can hear is, da 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 dun da dun Dun, dun. <laughs> and he's coming towards dun, dun, me. Dun 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 crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I want to do. How do I do that? What what do you need from me to do that? <laughs> okay, what I need from you is um, initiative because you, him, and the person holding Glicks and Glicks are gonna need to roll initiative. I feel like I should get some sort of surprise here because I'm just gracefully floating towards him, right? Um, They're on their guard. I'm going to say that no, you do Fair not enough. get a surprise. Fair Can I add my zero G to my initiative? <laughs> uh, yes, I will allow that, what? actually. Really? Yes. This is very applicable in the situation. In a zero G environment, I will no, definitely I allow think you I that. I could actually make this a kind of... Can I announce my luck now? Is it too late? Too late. Did you just get uh... a <laughs> four? Cool. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I didn't think I could. I could do a decent initiative. What was that? Oh, that three d six. What was that for? Oh, that was Glix's initiative. So Glix yeah. rolled a three d six and got a four. <laughs> uh, what's my zero g? Ooh. Okay. Okay. And let's see. What's a better? I need a, a good fight track. For this peachy so after uh, sending arthur in i'm i'm doing tactical calculations okay um very You're well the worst tactical officer ever. <laughs> this has not gone well <laughs> it could have went well okay so let's get a turn order going here and i'm gonna add you guys in <laughs> Okay, Glix gets a four. Arthur gets a nine uh, plus a no. four, so 13. Okay. And uh, 15 for Smuggler one, seven for Smuggler two. So when I was in my head when I rolled these, the Smuggler holding Glix got the 15, the Smuggler on the left got the seven. Okay, so... Smuggler holding Glicks gets the first move here. 
Um, okay. So. Well, doesn't he take... Well, okay. So the smuggler holding Glicks uh, sees the Borean sort of push off hard against the tube and sort of become a projectile himself, aiming <laughs> his face, his his uh, his his head into uh, his buddy. Yeah, he's going to um, he's going to aim his rifle at Arthur uh, and take a shot. So he is going to shoot at you, Arthur. Um, now he's got Glicks with his other hand, sort of looped around. Um, so he's going to take a little bit of a penalty here. I'm going to take away a die from his roll since he's holding Glicks. All right. My range defense is 11, by the way. 5d6 is a 21. <laughs> Hits you, uh, and uh, he will shoot you with a 2d6 plus 2. In a way, it's better that he hit you rather than, you know, hitting anything else. Hits you for 12 damage minus your uh, armor. Uh, I assume we'd hear this gunshot, right? Uh, we'd have had the other gunshots, actually. I'm sure I should have thought of that. Give me perception checks. It's actually going to be pretty hard. And can I see what's going on to any extent, or is this through the door? No, the, the door's, door's closed. closed. Oh, they're on the other side? Okay, yeah. so they're different. They're in the tube, yeah. Okay. Lunk in cupboard, lunk so, no hair nutting. So I need um, I need a roll from you as well, Felix. Uh, perception? Yes. Okay. What do your cat ears hear? <laughs> we shall ski. 18. 18 is enough. Uh, Felix, you hear this last gunshot, but you didn't hear the ones that were on the other ship uh, where Glix was. Um, so yes, Felix, you hear something uh, through the through the doors, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, Arthur, you take the damage, uh, and his second action is going to be... Um, he is going to... I'm going to say he's going to toss you into the ship, Glix, backwards... Um, okay. He's basically just going to spin around and just kind of launch you uh, into the ship. Um, and that's going to be just a regular... I'd say this is just a regular strength check. He's got brawling. Hey, I'm gonna, he doesn't have throwing. Uh, yeah, he's going to get to roll his brawling, I'd say, for this. Because he's trying to, th like, roughly oh, throw you. Do yeah. you give us the heads up about the gunshot, Felix? Uh, I haven't yet, no. So, a 22. Uh, Glix, if you're trying to sort of fight against him, you can also roll your strength. Um, okay. And if you have any kind of brawling, you can add that. Let's see. No brawling, but, yeah, I'm probably fighting if he's trying to toss me. Oh yeah, he just he just throws you back in the ship, and you you're you know you're you're going with some speed. Like he basically just does like a a centrifugal kind of toss. Uh, he spins around, probably uses the railing for some like um, help, and um, and uh, just like tosses you into the fucking into the oh. other ship. Um, you collide probably roughly with the bulkhead, um, and um, uh, yeah, you can see like this guy is. Um, uh, like now taking up aim towards uh, Arthur. Uh, Arthur, your turn. I mean, I'm still trying to. I'm on the same trajectory to do what I wanted to do. Yeah. So give me, um, give me a strength check. Um, and um, I have an arm, an arm skill. Uh, you have an unarmed my, my skill. My strength is the same as an arm, though. It's three d six. We need. I think you're talking about the wrong stuff. Let me see. So you have under you, attacks. Unarmed. So that's not a skill. Those are two very different things. So unarmed is just your straight roll. That's just a three d six that you just do. Okay. And that's purely your strength or your agility. 
Yeah, that's, that must be my. Oh yeah, one or the yeah. other. So you want my strength plus? No, no, three d six. Three d six. Can I get my zero g on this again? Um. Because I, so, I want to luck. I want to hit this guy. I give really, me a five d six. Yeah, give me a five d six. Yeah. Can Go I ahead. burn my luck as well? That's up to you. I'm gonna burn luck as well. Five d six. So fourteen. Fourteen. I should change my name. Hang okay. On. Yes. Yes, you should, as well as the strange person called Tuesday. I don't know who that is. Um, she has cake. That's all I know. <laughs> so 14 right. is a miss. Uh, on my luck. Right. Also Eight. a miss. Fuck me. Uh, am I able to say anything during all this? You like, like can now. Uh, so you can roll me initiative. Oh, okay. Uh, do I get an action as well? You still have a second action, yes. Um, okay, so I'm gonna comms. I'm just gonna tap my comms. You better get your big moat robot butt in your real sharpie shark. Yeah, I I open a airlock door and I say then. Uh, yes. Oh, is time lunk smash yet? So time to smash. It's gonna it's gonna take you some turns to sort of get this back open. Uh, just keep that in mind. This is not an yeah. instant thing. Um, having a fight in the airlock itself is not a great tactical plan because it does take a while to cycle the doors. Um, but I will add you guys to the initiative. Hawk, roll me initiative. Lunk, roll me initiative. A 23 for my initiative. Okay. 12. Okay. Because uh, I've got the... So, uh, Arthur, uh, we're going to count that whole the two rounds there as surprise rounds. Um, so now we are back in standard order. We're going to say, like, one of the smugglers would have gotten a chance to, uh, you know, s set things up here. Um, the other... The other guy uh, rolled low enough that I won't. I didn't want to add him to the surprise round. Okay, all right. So now we're in standard order. Hawk, you can use. Uh, basically, it's going to take at least two turns to open up the airlocks, and you're going to have the same situation where you can only open one door at a time. Right now, the inner door is closed. The outer door is open. You're muted. Again, the inner door open. And when it's open... Okay, the inner door... In. Yeah, so the inner door uh, basically cycles. The outer door closes, and you got like a little timer that basically is, is saying that you've got some time before the, the outer door closes to pressurize. Um, it's going to take you one turn to open the inner door and then one turn to open the outer door. Okay. Well, it gives everyone I mean like a full a... I mean like a full round a full round of your of yeah. your action. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're opening up the the inner door. Uh, so this process begins. I get my shield out. Get it in front of me. And I'm standing at the uh, the outer door ready to move in. Okay, doke. Um, yeah, so the, uh, the inner door is going to start to open, and after Hawk's turn on the next round, he can have the outer door open. Um, so the inner door opens, and Hawk goes in, and this is where we're going to take our next break. We'll be right back, everybody. Back in five minutes as we continue on with some more combat for tonight. Hang tight, everybody. Back in five. <laughs> 